You a bad man, shawty, yeah. please don't waste my time yeah. So on my neck, I think you're drinking too much wine Bad, call me up, yeah. she wanna be mine, okay like bad Pullin' up, yeah. that's so Am I mic working? Carousel, oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on, bro, can I explain? I need a lawyer Bro, I didn't shoot 3 for 27, I shot 3 for, 3 for 12 God damn, bro, chill I have to speak my piece, bro The, the part I'm gonna start from is when I seen that E word and I ain't gonna lie, I had that like this. First thing I seen, I had this like this. That's the first thing that happened to him. I seen those highlights. Let me explain. Not giving me my chance to explain. Can I start at day one? I'm gonna show you the highlights, but we not gonna talk about the highlights right now until I get to explaining them. Wait for the explanation. Just like you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like Melly going to jail, but he ain't had no lawyer. He would just got thrown in there. He would have got death penalty. Like I don't need the death penalty yet. Can I explain? Okay, first of all, all I'm gonna say before well, this, I ain't gonna talk about it too much until I get my lawyer involved. What I'm gonna say is this didn't even show. Like first, I went three for twelve. Okay, this this ain't show none of my three. That's all I'm gonna say. Bro, okay, first of all, first of all, if anything, there's some goat shit. Goat point guard, there's some goat shit. Start from the beginning. Okay, 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 okay. Let's start from day one of the convention. What happened day one? Day one was when, oh my God. Day one was when I met everyone in the Airbnb. Did y'all see Midas? Did y'all see that Midas? This is my boy Midas. It go Midas and Clue right here. Now, first thing I said to Midas is, dog. This is how I know Midas was cap about having black friends. First thing I told to him, I said, bro, Midas, this right here, this gotta change. This has to change. I cannot see you outside with this right here again ever in my life. With not wearing the G-Shot. That's over. This is how exactly I knew his black friends wasn't really on time. Because if he had black friends, he would have been got fucking pressed about this shit. So as W Mans, I said, Midas, we are gonna cut that shit out. Not wearing that no more. You hating on the G-Shot gang? AJ, tighten the fuck up. And here go Clue. D these are actually the, the top two most sus niggas in Discord, actually. Here go Clue, right here. Clue is a good guy. The sus rankings that we had before going to DreamCon, they have switched up a little bit. The number one and two has changed. It used to be Clue first and then Midas. It is now Midas number one. Clue is second. Midas is number one. He's he's actually he's actually like he's super sus in real life. No, he had, he looked me in my eyes and asked me to kiss him, bro. Like, yeah, GG, number one, dog. See, Thursday was just a chill day. We got in the B and B. Now that nigga dance do look like a hood nigga now. See that nigga hair done got long. I think that was just Thursday. I don't think that much happened Thursday. We went to a a, a club. Yo, I'm a I'ma explain the layups at the end. That's day three. That's day four. Can I get there? Number one was Thursday. We met niggas. I don't think anything even happened, bro, on Thursday except for the club. That shit was lit. Uh, Tia Kareem was in there. I, I think that's really it. See, Thursday was a smooth day. Now, the first day. First day was the first day of the convention. That's when I met all of the all of the fucking JSG niggas. And and why is the first thing I see Ewer send me? It say, uh, it looked like all y'all was forced to take a pic. We took a family photo. He said, Mel, why it looked like we was forced to take this picture? <laughs> Bro, first of all, niggas can't attest there was a gun behind the camera, bro. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let us explain, bro. Bro, I told niggas I don't got my poses ready for no pictures yet. It upgraded over the weekend. I told niggas, let me let me work on my, my grind mode and shit. Let me get on time in. This was the first day. See, my poses evolved over the weekend, bro. Like, look, look, look at three hard niggas, bro. You had to let it evolve in. Like, come on, like, like, come up, bruh. And low key, it, it was the cameraman's fault too. Right, so that was your sister? I'm sorry, but I gotta blame her. It's the cameraman's fault. Okay, that was first day. First day, first day was a long day. I actually did not, I didn't even like first day as much because it was like the like the basketball day for me. It was a club night before. My, I, my energy was not there the first day. That was also Casamigos Janice. You see me on the first day, my bad. My energy wasn't there, bruh. Nah, but Nathan, what was y'all, Nathan, what was the story? What was y'all up to, bruh? Hey, join in the VC, Nathy. Bro, why was there some people? There was dumb, some people who was there. I seen them on Twitter, but they ain't even come say nothing. What happened? Hey. Yo. Hey, what's up, nigga? What's up? Nigga, come to the microphone. What was y'all up to the first day, bro? Because I seen niggas in the big ass group. What was y'all up to? Oh, we was just moving around as a unit. I ain't gonna lie. We just going to events and shit. Was that fun? Yeah, it was cool, actually. 
Did y'all niggas have E Word as a leader, bro? Hell no. Nah. Who was the leader of that shit, dog? There was no leader, but I was leading niggas around type shit. Like I was, I was like, the events over here, we gotta go over here. The boom, boom. Wait, how did the nigga even get a pick from the first night of me? When was this, bro? Where did you even get this from? Where the fuck did this nigga get this shit from? This is the first night in the club. How is this a picture on my screen right now? Why Bay stream? How? How is this possible though? When did this happen? When did this happen? Why? Are, why were you arching like that? It's not an arch. This is a fucking stretch over the back of a chair. Okay, so so day one was cool. I just met a hell of niggas. See, the thing about this dream con, this was the second one. So I already knew most of the niggas. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Bro, all right, bro. All right. Janice courtside VIP area. Bro, how do you have this picture? Bro, this nigga e -word just had pics. I don't know. How do you have this picture, bro? Credits to Servant, Servant, Janice in VIP out. lounge. This is this is uh this is Wayne by the way in the corner. This is Wayne right here. This is a little demon nigga. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? What he ego them? Ah shit. What's good, Janix? Wait. God damn, Waki! Nigga, that's Jojo the Mofo. What the fuck? Jojo said, you trying to get a flick or something? He said, oh, what's good, Janix? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Waki, this nigga asked you a whole question. That was dead ass meme. Big, that's big mofo, nigga. Don't, don't disrespect that nigga walkie. I might have to press you next time, bro. Wait, can you stand up real quick? Can you stand up real quick? Damn. Oh my, bro, you should have seen this nigga face, bro. Oh my God, bro. This nigga walkie, he's like this. He got the phone like this. He said, can you stand up? He said, damn. Bro, this nigga actually threw, uh, he actually threw his head back, bro. I was like, come on, walkie. Why did you stand up though? Ace, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good guy, bro. Yo, this man's a, oh, sorry, sorry. This man's a giraffe, bro. He's like six, seven. How smelly was, oh my God, bro. I remember the first day I, I, I was talking, I was like, I was telling niggas, hey bro, be smooth. I think this drink on not gonna stay. Like I did ass, like niggas know to bring deodorant. He's not no smelly ass niggas. Benefit of the doubt. Now I came on Thursday and I went to go get my pass. Because you gotta go early to get your pass or it's packed. Bro, I went to go get my pass. I shit you not. I haven't stepped in anywhere DreamCon yet. I go to go get my pass. And then the pass is in a hotel door. It's in the spinning doorway. I'm walking up. I'm like, go get my pass type shit. I'm gonna get my shit. Bro, I take one. I, bro, all my life, I take one foot into the door and boom. The, the mustiest smell in my life hits me. Not one step into DreamCon. I took one step into DreamCon and I was hit with must, with bad must. How the fuck is that possible? I had high hopes. I was like, niggas not gonna be musty, we good. Bro, I took one step inside the sliding door. It was bad. So that was tough. I, I didn't really like that shit. But anyways, back to day one. Dude, dude, you, you got some more shit. Janice on court after after the Creative League game. Nigga, E Word, how do you even have this, bro? E Word, you a sneaky ass nigga, bro. I, I think one person I met who was cool was that nigga Corey, bro. Hey, and speaking about that nigga Corey, why his little excuse me for being anti social pose get harder every time I see it? Like, like the nigga like this? Why does shit get harder every time he do it? Like the first time, I'm like, oh, okay. But then I see it like 10 more times, like, hold on. Bro, Corey is him, dog. Now, what happened day two? Was the first after party on day one? Yeah, it was day one. Oh, that, that shit was horrible. Oh my God, that shit was horrible, bro. Holy shit. I ain't never been to a worse after party than that, bro. I was gone, I was gone in 30 minutes, dog. Yo, can we have a chat? Fun. That shit did not go, bro. Can we have a chat? Can niggas stop? Like niggas was dead ass sneaking into to VIP, bro. Bro, it was crazy. Yo, nah, you're fed. What? Nah, this, did you see how fast this nigga just snitched on his mans? <laughs> oh my God, this nigga is I actually knew, federal. I, I thought everybody this knew that, man. I wasn't, I wasn't even gonna say Cam, cause Cam my dog. Bro, I show up. Not like 10 minutes into the night, the whole VIP is full somehow. Whole VIP is full. And literally all the creators left. I was like, where everybody at? Niggas talking about, oh, this, this shit done got, yeah. Bro, I, I don't know what the fuck happened that night, bro. Honestly, I think day one was the midday. Nah, nah day two, what, ha what happened on day two, Nathy? Nothing really, I can't remember. Nigga, something happened on the schedule, bro. Hold on. Oh, they Something the, happened uh, on the schedule. Bro. Oh my God, you. this is when this was when we found out. This is when we found out about Midas lore. Now this lore is insane. When I tell you this lore, this Midas lore is insane. Because once again, I had to press him. So he's a BNB roommate. Cool, smooth. Which means that you would have to you would have to be like courteous to your BNB members, correct? Yeah. You know, we was in the BNB. This is just a funny story. We don't got to be too mean to Midas. But cool in the BNB. Cool like like he smells on. Like he, 
I'm like looking around like he like he smells some of his shit. What you talking about, Clue? <laughs> what you what you talk what you what you talking about, Clue? Like what's going on? Like he's sniffing in the B and B. He like okay, uh, what, what's happening? <laughs> Now, basically you say he smells something, right? Midas is right there. You see me? I'm not really scared to tell a nigga if something is happening, okay? Like if something wrong, just like this weekend, like like you know how niggas was sneaking this shit? I'm I'm not the nigga who's scared to tell somebody, hey bruh, hey bruh, tighten up. Like Wabe was talking to this nigga who knew him. Like he said he was a fan of Wabe. Bro, five minutes later, I turn around, the nigga that Wabe was talking to, we gotta pick what he's following us. I'm like, hey Wabe, who's this? He turned around, he like, nigga, I don't know. Bro, hot. Bro, random nigga. We didn't even know him, just following us. And we about to go to the back room, but we saw him to the back room, he's still following us. We, I see security, I'm like, hey, bro, he not, hey, bro, this nigga not with me. He not with me. I said, he can't follow us. <laughs> he's not with me, bro. See, most of the niggas who, who were sneaking this shit, niggas are scared to tell him to like tighten up. They're like, oh, he just following us, that's tough. So back to the story. Um, So Midas sit down and I'm, I'm a nice guy. So I'm not just gonna be like, hey, bro, there's a smell in the, in the b, b So Midas sit down, I'm like, so uh, I'm like, hmm. I was like, hmm, I'm about to take a shower. And I was like, hmm, Midas, what's your nightly routine? You know, that was slick, that was smooth. I was like, what's your nightly routine, Midas? He goes, uh, brushing my teeth, washing my face, the usual, mouthwash. And I'm like, hmm, no shower? <laughs> bro, I'm not gonna lie, it was a godlike setup. It was a god, I, I, it was a godlike setup, bro. Cause he, he left that shit, I was like, hmm, no shower? I set that nigga up crazy. And he was like, nah, nah, I'm a morning shower. And that's when I go, huh? <laughs> Dog, I shit you not, bro. Texas, Texas is 110 degrees at this point. I said, Mike, it's, it's, in the morning is crazy, gang. We just sweated crazy. And, you know, there might be a little song going on. He's like, nah, nah, I don't sweat that much. I'm like, okay. I'm like, and I say, I right, just stay right there. Like, he's just chilling on the couch like this on his phone. I'm like, I right, just stay right there. Nah, and I get, all I do is I get close to him. I say, Bro, bro, it, it was GG. It was GG, dog. It was. <laughs> I'm not mean. I'm not mean. Cause you know what's crazy? Who said he noticed it the very first day? But he didn't say nothing. He slept. He slept right next to him and didn't say nothing. You know why? Cause he pussy. Why? Well, I, I had to fix the problem of the whole B and B. He's supposed to say something. He said. He said he's trying to sleep and he can smell it and he like this. He said. He said he had to move his head away. Because there was only a certain angle that he couldn't smell. So, so it gets to the point. Now, now here's the context of these videos, bro. Now here goes Clue. So he goes to the shower. This nigga Clue said, I'm gonna smell the blanket, bro. Yeah, I Tear in my eyes like this, bro. How this nigga said, Whoa! <laughs> bro, is woohoo crazy? <laughs> no, bro. No, bro. <laughs> Dog, this had to have been the funniest night I've, I've ever seen in my life. It's just has to actually be the funniest thing I've seen in my life, bro. This was B and B lore, bro. There was a in the fucking B and B, bro. Yo, Sarah, Sarah, you only saying we mean because you actually be stinking, bro. Sarah, I didn't forget at your job you be rubbing your must on that the clothes, the the, the merchandise. I did not forget you rub your your must on the merchandise. Now please send us your establish establishment so I can uh, report you and get you taken down. I did not I, I did not forget that. All right. Now, what else? That was day two. Uh, day three, day three. What happened day three? Now, there was four days. There was four days. Four days for me, because I got there Thursday. It was Saturday. Oh, Saturday was the basketball. No, Saturday Wait, was dodge the dodgeball. Ball. Yeah, dodgeball. Saturday was the dodgeball. Oh, in the club with Lotto. Okay, okay. And, oh, that's the lore I need to tell y'all about. Boy, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm hella motivated, because I was on Riz, Riz timing with the con connections, bro. I'm on grind timing. My best connection I made, look at this. Y'all know who this is? Y'all know who this is? CEO of Twitch. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, this is, this is DJ Clancy himself. So I got to uh, the Family Feud late and I was just chilling. And I like, I was hearing murmurs. I was hearing murmurs. It was all like, is that the CEO? 
Like, they was tapping me. He's like, James, is that the CEO? Is that is that the CEO? I was like, what y'all talking about, bro? This just is like this is this is a nigga with white hair just holding up a camera on stream. And um, you know, he he was actually live at the moment. I'm pretty sure. And this how I know the second drink con was better for me because I I didn't have no issue going up to niggas. Like last time, like if it, if it was like a crazy juice up nigga, I'd be like, I'm gonna just leave that nigga alone. But this time, like nobody wanted to go up to the CEO. Hey, I just walked up to that nigga and introduced myself, and we was just sitting there chatting it up. He was talking about uh, blah, 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 this. And, and long story short, he said he want to come on stream. So I might so I might have to cook some. She... I might have to cook some. I don't know what I could cook on him, but that's just what he said. Yo, another another thing, why was so many niggas at the convention looking me in my eyes? I don't like that shit. Me, I like being the tallest nigga in the room. I'm me the niggas. <laughs> he looking me in my fucking eyes. The hell is your problem, bro? Like random niggas like Gino. Gino, Gino like 16 looking me in my eyes. What the fuck is your problem? Did you hear about this cereal? There was a cereal sucker going on in the hotels. Who got the drop on him? I heard about that, bro. I missed it. Who got the drop on the cereal sucker? What happened, bro? Who got the drop on the cereal sucker? Who, bro? Yeah, so day two, they nah, day two was actually smooth, bro. I, I feel like Dream Dream Con the place where you really, like, where you really open up type shit. You really, you actually, actually open up. And me and Wabe was talking. I think the most fun thing to do personally was was not even be with like the creators and shit. I, I don't know if niggas seen this, but me and Wabe was downstairs like the whole day, day two. We was down there in the motherfucking vendors. We was everywhere. Bro, we just did that just meeting people downstairs and shit. Bro, no dick suck dancing actually play when I played him one-on-one. -on -one. E word, that's what I'm E word, that's what I'm saying. E word, E word, E word. That's why I'ma need my lawyer. You can be my lawyer too. That's what I'm saying, E word, because there's an explanation to everything, okay? Now, I think we at the club with Lotto. This this was this was a very funny night, bro. There, there's very there's a lot of funniness about this, bro. Now, <laughs> so we get to this club, right? First of all, if you're from Austin, Texas, respectfully, fuck you and your whole ass city. Your city is some dirt. Your city is fucking mid. Your city is not even mid. It's ass. Your city is fucking horrendous. There's no black people unless there's 20,000 sliding for a convention. There's no black people. Second, niggas don't. N niggas is like, niggas don't fuck with black people. Out Bro, ask this, ask this, cause this with me. Yo, cause sometimes, sometimes when I'm chatting, when I'm chatting, I'll just say shit to random people. So like we walk around the strip mall, I'm just walking, I'm like, hey, how your, how your day going? I'm like, hey, how your day going? They're like this, nothing. Ask like five different niggas. How your day going? How your day going? You know what I'm saying? Are you good? Nothing. Just look, just look at me and nothing. You was bothering Midas people. I wasn't bothering Nick. I wasn't bothering nobody. I did as all I said was, hey, how you doing? Or hey, how's your day going? That's all I said. If I do that anywhere else, they say, oh, I'm good, bro. What's up? What about you? And another reason why Austin asked, because this is why this club is ass. Clubs close at 2 a.m. If you know me, you know me, you know me as a nigga who I gotta turn that bitch up. 2 a.m. is my peak time. That's when I'm at the peak of the night. I'm at the peak of the night at 2 a.m. So as soon as I get to the peak of the night, they say you gotta go. So back to the night with Lotto. We hop in the section. We just chilling. We just chilling. And you know what I'm saying? First of all, I got a lot of shit to press about this. And it's been a long time. It take like 30 minutes to get our drinks, right? We finally get our drinks. You know, we handing out shots and shit. We passing them out. You know, I usually start my night off. If I don't, if I don't get no pre games in, I start my night with like two, three shots. So I just throw two, three back. You know, I'm smooth. I'm, I'm usually chilling. Not chilling, but I at least feel like like a little buzz or some shit. Bro, I think I think they had fake Casamigos, bro. I I think they had fake Casamigos, bro. bro. I had to drink. I had to drink almost a whole bottle to get drunk, bro. I kept drinking and drinking and drinking and drinking. And I'm like, I've drank, I've drank a lot of Casamigos before. Nigga, I should be, I should be crazy drunk right now. I was chilling. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This around the time where the back door opened, okay? The back door opened up. And we started seeing like a group of girls walk in and they going up top in Camlado. And that's what, <laughs> oh, that's that's when the glaze ass started. Niggas like, oh, nigga, nigga, like, like, niggas like, damn. Damn, glaze started coming in. This nigga Josh tapped me on my shoulder, right? I'm like, okay, what this nigga about to say? This nigga says, is that Glorilla? Bro, this nigga tapped me on my shoulder and say, is that, is that Glorilla? I'm like, bro, huh? Nigga, that is Lotto. Bambi said people are literally pushing Midas and Clue to get to Lotto. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Bambi's just correct. Listen, listen, when them, when they started turning it up, <laughs> I was outside the section. They started turning it up up top. I said, Midas move. Midas in the middle of the section, he just chilling with his drink. I mean, not his drink. He, he, had, he had like some water or some shit because you know what I'm saying, Midas don't drink. Midas was, he was chilling like this with his cup. 
He just, this nigga just sitting there. I'm like, bro, move out the way, bro. Move, move out the way, bro. These niggas, they turn it up, but bro, move, move. Got this nigga up out the way. And um, this is when, this is when Wabe life flashed before his eyes, bro. Because you see how she like this? You see how she like this? You see how she like this, like real close? The next song, they played another Lotto song, right? After this, you see, you see how close she is right now, right? How she is to the bar? Yo, it look like we glazing, bro. We, oh my God, we dead. We dead ass glazing, bro. Is that Clue? <laughs> bro, this nigga Clue about to lose his phone trying to get a good angle with that guy. Damn, Clue. Bro, chill. Chill, bro. This nigga about to drop his shit. I can't, I can't say, bro. Bro, Lotto look, Lotto look just like she looked like on the internet, bro. Like, when, when the change is busting, when the change is busting crazy, it, it looked like she was in a music video already. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like her, her chains was busting this shit, and she she automatically had aura. Niggas was, soon as she stepped up, the glaze happened. She had aura. After this song, correct? Because she was playing the one with Cardi B. They played they played a song, like her own song. And that's when she had came up to the bar. She came up right to the bar. And Wabe right here in the front. Her and Wabe start start fucking rapping together. Like, like she over the bar. She like this. She like this. And, and why you know what I'm saying? Why why they know how to turn up? He rapping right back. He, he rapping right back. He like yeah, you know, uh, uh, he, he like yeah, yeah, yeah. Why bro? Why they having the time of his life? And she got a drink in her hand. She got a drink in her hand like this. Yeah, they don't turn it up. They turn it on. I'm like, I'm like okay, okay, niggas, niggas fire right now. She say she like this. She say she say where y'all drinks at? She say where y'all drinks at? Bro, Wabe doesn't take. He does not drink at. All. Wabe don't drink at all. He doesn't drink. He's a good Muslim. He's a good Muslim. This nigga immediately say, he turn around, he say, where the shots at? Get some shots. Get some, he, he tapping me. He like, get some shots. Where the shots at? He like, get some shots. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. He's like, come on, come on, get some shots. Get some shots. And me, I ain't even questioning it. I'm like, I, nigga, bet. So I grabbed the bottle. I'm up there pouring shots. I was actually, that's W man's. I, I ain't pouring nothing in Wabe shot drink because he obviously not going to drink. So it was quick too because she was looking. She was looking to take some. Apparently, when I'm turned around, we had two bottles, correct? Apparently, while I'm turned around, when she said, where y'all shots at? Or where y'all drinks at? When I'm getting the shots for the other shit to get on timing, she was finna go down. She can't get the other bottle. You grab the other bottle, bro. This is where everything went bad. Nigga, TK grabbed the other bottle, dog. Bro, this nigga tries to hand the bottle to Lotto, bro. And I'm not seeing none of this. Cause I'm trying to get the shots ready. Nigga, I'm trying to turn up. I'm getting all my shots ready. Bro, this, this nigga trying to move so fast. He get the bottle. She say, where y'all drinks at? This nigga TK trying to just give her our, our bottle, bro. Oh, he grabbed the bottle. He trying to hand it to the, the security say, hey, bro, what the fuck is you on? The fuck is you on, nigga? Start pressing, bro. Start pressing, because you obviously can't just hand, no, hand nobody, especially with some with some juice, no drinks, bro. They're going to think you're trying to do something, bro. You can't hand nobody who got security a drink, bro. Bro. <laughs> Dog, I ain't never seen a moment go that quick. Niggas just turning up, and the moment completely was over, bro. She got, she got sent to the back, and guess what? I never seen her again. I never seen her again, bro. She wasn't there no more. And guess guess what? Guess what the fuck happened after? Guess what the fuck happened after, bro? You won't you won't believe what happened after. Nah, it's not it's not TK like, like it's not TK, bro. He he just got excited, bro. Now, look, look at this, bro. Look at this. Listen, this is why I want y'all to analyze this pick. Analyze this pick, bro. Look at her fit. What does she have on? Look at what she has on. After this nigga TK tried to give her the drink and got us pressed, bro, she left the club. Look at the look at the fit, bro. Look at the fit, bro. bro I feel bad, yo. That was was that Wabe moment, bro. Is that Wabe moment, dog? Wabe was about to have a moment, bro. Bro, Wabe was like, oh my god, this nigga just sold me, bro. I I didn't like this club only because the club the whole club was fun, but it closed at two a.m. Now that was day two. On to day three with my allegations, bro. I need a lawyer. Got a time seven. You with the CEO of Twitch? Yeah, my dog. Look.
bro, bro, I'm telling you. Everybody was like, everybody was like, yeah, it was yo. Is that the CEO on Twitch? Everybody was your CEO on Twitch. What's going on? Hey, I, I just walked up to the nigga, bro. I just got on top. Like, I was like, you know what? Let me just introduce myself. Are you waving like that, bro? Bro, I was trying to, you know what I'm saying? What you want me to do? It's D he, he DJ Clancy. He he a white dude with long hair. What you want me to? What's up, dog? We hearing Dream calling on Twitch, nigga. What's up, nigga? Hell yeah, fuck nigga, yeah. I was like, hey, hey guys, that's it. <laughs> I, I have to know what place I need to be in. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> Let's get to day three, cause I, I need to, we need to talk about this day three, bro. For day three, bro. I got a lawyer in the VC because this was when the basketball tournament was, was going to happen, okay? Now, I want to let this be known right now. I did not want to play in the basketball tournament. The reason why was because I was like, cool, okay. Nigga said this 4v4, 3v3. I thought it was gonna be half court. I thought we gonna be doing half court. I thought we gonna be chilling and we just like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna be doing too much. I get there. By the way, niggas didn't tell me. Niggas didn't tell me shit. TK say, oh yeah, it's full court by the way. I say, oh. <laughs> now, the second reason, y'all know, I am a nigga who, who has ducked cardio his whole entire life. I'm not doing no cardio unless shit is planned. Like if we would have done the RDC shit, I would have been in the gym two months before on the treadmill, which I was doing when I thought it was locked in. I was gonna do, I was gonna be on the treadmill two months before locked in, getting my, getting my sets, getting my cardio up. Unless I have a reason, I'm not doing cardio. Okay, ain't that right, lawyer? Ain't that right? I'm not facts. doing cardio. That's facts. facts. My, my client is telling the truth. I'm, that's facts. This is my lawyer. I do not do cardio, bro. I go to the gym. I put weight up and I skip the trip. Bro, no, no. I just do my weights and I leave. That's it. So, and on top of that, I'm not even at my peak right now. Right now, I'm like 10 pounds heavier than, than what my actual weight usually is. I'm usually like 225. I was cooling over the summer. I'm like 235 right now, like 237. So anything that niggas ask me to do, it's stretching. You're stretching it, bro. We get we get to doing. I'm like, all right, maybe it ain't gonna be that bad because we had a sub, right? Oh man, okay, cool. Oh, oh my, I forgot. I forgot. This was a this was a fucking Casamigos Janix Awakening Part Two. So I'm I'm off to Casamigos, and. We, we get there and it, it was smooth at first. Dapping niggas up, I start warming up. And I started warming up with you, right, lawyer? Start yeah, warming up. You played a little one of you one. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. We warming up. Hey, I'm doing my thing. I'm like, nigga, let's get it. I'm like, okay. Nigga, I'm on time. Nigga, I'm warming up. I'm saying, oh, it's over with. It's over with, right, lawyer? Bro, this nigga Janix got on the court and it was like the space gym when they lost their powers, bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a no. big difference, bro. Now, listen, me and me, E Word was learn, learn, what, warming up. Now, this is where shit went bad. Me and E Word was warming up. And when you warm up, you can't just go like slow speed because then you're not actually actually warming up. I'm, I'm trying to do my shit, I'm getting to my spots. And, and this is when that shit happened. I remember specifically, I was against E Word, I had Joe by him. Uh, put up a shot and then after the shot I was like I was like this I was just walking and this when I noticed I was like I was like whew. bro during warm-ups I got tired bro bro during I during the warm-ups I'm like whoo nigga you were shit. tired after King to the court bro I got we was on King of the Court bro bro I was tired dog and, and I was like oh my god this is bad because the game almost over bro the game was almost over on the other court then nigga said Hey, Janet, show team about to play. My heart dropped. Absolutely. I had the Gatorade symbol before the game even started. That don't make no sense. I had the Gatorade symbol before the game started. I was already knocked. I was already half HP before the game even started. I don't know how. I don't know how, bruh. I, I don't know if niggas know this, but bro, first time we, we go up the court two times, down and back, bro, I'm already walking like this. I'm like, God damn. I'm already walking back on defense. Nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pick the easiest nigga to guard so I don't got to do shit. Bro, I'm tired. He's going back and forth. Why are we doing full court? I'm like, I'm like, hey, bro, you get him. You get him. I need this nigga, bro. Just chill. So I, I had to get the easy nigga to guard. So I, I'm just like this on defense, bro. My nigga. Bro. Everything that I put up was short. I had no power, no strength, no nothing. Everything that I put up was short. And then, in between the first and second game, nigga, the, the Casamigos want to come up. Niggas got to throw up, bro. GG. That's why I need bro, my lawyer, bro. Laid on the floor? Bro, that, that was the Casamigos fighting back. I'm trying I'm trying to get my energy back. Casamigos in my stomach boxing me. 
boxing me up crazy what my client is saying is th this was not his best performance y'all didn't get this that's what I'm, bro, 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 wait 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 <laughs> yeah. lawyer 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 nigga seen me hoop before i ain't ever put up no westbrook shit bro, bro. This nigga was dunking on Sean and shit at Rage Crib. This what, nigga came on airballing layups. That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, I had no energy, lawyer. My stamina bar was on zero. I couldn't do nothing. This right here. This right here is when I knew I would, when, when it was cooked, bro. Because my energy on zero, and, and this is where I got to press the niggas in the crowd. My energy on zero. I'm blanking. I got the ball. I'm about to pass this bitch. TK on my right. I'm about to pass this bitch. I'm like, I ain't finna do nothing with this. I'm tired. Bro, somebody in the crowd say, hey, three. I was like, you know what? All right, bro. Man, I'm just uh, <laughs> Listen, we out here having fun. They want a little three? Okay. You know what? Everything was short, bro. Why do I have a highlight reel with my with my goat, bro? Look, I be my Why do I have a highlight reel with my goat? Hey, 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 can we can we talk about one thing though? Hey, low key, my, my hair done got long to the point to where it look it look fine when you doing shit now. Like like this pic right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a cat picture. But you see, my hair done got to the length where it actually it's actually on time now. Listen, listen, bro, lawyer. Since this happened, I will be when we go to Florida, I will be doing a two v two slash king of the court stream at the YRG Mansion when we go there there's my proposition mm. since since niggas call me lacking i got caught lacking you know what i'm with it i put up my west goat numbers my fault my fault i went three for 12 my fault bro to be fair in my client's defense this nigga tk was trying to shoot from half court the whole game when he could have just ended the game easily no you know okay you know it's the crazy part tk tk was tk was smooth tk was smooth but tk was like five for Five for fucking thirteen. He he, he shot like thirty percent. Uh, that nigga was carrying the team with points. I ain't gonna lie. Wayne, Wayne. Them layups was not hitting with Wayne. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. But no, that's towards, the thing. No, 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 no. I got to defend Wayne too because that was Casamigos. Wayne too. He was off the oh, Casamigos shit. too. And then Simi, he was he was um that boy was chucking too, and they started going down in the last game. Wabe. Why, why, he had a hurt ankle. He ain't even scored no points. And after all that that I just said, the nigga still didn't beat the team. They got why they call every nigga. They call every nigga ass, <laughs> and they, they got shit on all the niggas. Hold on, let me let me get this Google Drive. Cause that nigga Wabe, uh, cameraman is him. Look, look at these pics this nigga took. This nigga took some cap ass pictures. I love this nigga for them pics, bro. This nigga took some cap ass pictures. Look at Wabe hooping ass nigga. Josh hooping. I ain't gonna lie, we we got to take a cameraman everywhere, bro. Cause it looked like niggas was on timing. But niggas wasn't really on timing, but it looked like niggas was on timing. See, look, look, look at the cat bad picture. Listen, listen, I had the Gatorade symbol tired the whole game. Hey, shout out that boy Sim. Nigga look like I was going crazy. Yo, listen, off this pick alone, Cam, you L mans. Cam, you L mans. I was trying to catfish, bro. You're L mans. Catfishing crazy. You're L mans. You dropped the you dropped the video. Look, look, look. They said they said they was dick riding. They said they was dick riding getting all the files. Bro, these, these niggas is on my. On oh, my, on oh, my body, crazy, bro. And one, and one. He made that swear, yeah. And one, and one. <laughs> look at when he said, "Holy shit, this nigga's on Tommy." Look, 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 look. Nigga said, "Oh my god, oh my they're on their dick. They're not falling. They're not falling. <laughs> niggas on my shit like this, bro." They trying to press the ref. They said, "Bro, you was on them niggas' dicks." Hum, hum, low up, low up and over, low up and over. See, I could have finished this move if I had my energy, cause I had, but I had my move sets. I, I did as have my move sets. I had this thing with up and over. He already jumping. I got the step through coming through right after this move. But as soon as I take that next step, lungs, GG, shut down. I'm telling you, the step through coming. Oh, I made that one. I made that one. I made that one. Cause this why, this why Wabe was like, he too little. Of course, Wabe. That's basically the explanation. Where's it picking me on the ground? Where, where did I pass out, bro? And see, this nigga Scotty is hilarious. This Scotty right here. Bro, I keep telling Scotty, hey, I'm tired, bro. Hey, hey, Scotty, I'm tired. Bro, I have no energy. I can't even, I can't even jog. I'm walking like this. I'm like, oh shit. I'm breathing hard. I'm like, oh shit. This nigga Scotty like, Janice, move, move, get to the corner. Move, set that screen, go, move, cut, cut, cut. 
I'm like, bro, chill, bro. This nigga dead ass trying to NBA coach me, bro. bro he trying he trying to get me to have Stephen Curry type movement while I actually cannot move, bro. These niggas down We had Casa Denics out there. No cardio and this, niggas was fouling full court. It doesn't make no sense. Hey, bro. Y'all got it, bro. Y'all got it, bro. But that was smooth, though. I fucked with it. What did J-Boy send me, bro? And happy 32nd birthday, Uncle Roscoe. This message says, I'm proud of my uncle and hope he gets his, uh, gets to enjoy a lot of gumbo. It's his love and life. Oh, mine too. <laughs> and we love you so much, Papa and Gaga. And happy 32nd birthday, <laughs> Uncle Roscoe. This message says, I'm proud of my uncle and hope he gets his, what the uh, gets fuck? to enjoy a lot of gumbo. It's his love and life. Oh, mine too. <laughs> There's no way you named me Roscoe, bro. And there's no way you told them I hope they get to enjoy a lot of gumbo. Uh, Alright, bro. That's the story. Um, it was real fun. Meeting uh meeting the people I did meet. That shit was dead ass. That shit was dead ass like it was way more fun than last year, bro. Me and Wabe was talking about this. I think me and Wabe have like me and Wabe are saying we might have the most like perfect amount of motion because it was dead ass fun meeting niggas. It wasn't like, like if I'm Corey Kenshin, you can't take a step without niggas fucking swarming you. But it was dead ass fun just walking around meeting niggas.